The easiest and most hassle-free way to get a PHP server running on your Mac is to use a package called MAMP. This acronym stands for Mac, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Apache is web server software that is commonly used to run PHP. MySQL is a database engine. We won't be using MySQL in this project, but many websites do. It's something you'll probably want to learn once you get a good handle on PHP. To get the latest version of MAMP, visit www.mamp.info and click on Download here. This file may take a little while to download. Once the file has downloaded, open it in Finder. Double-click on it to unzip the installer package. Then double-click that to launch the MAMP installer. Click through the first two steps. At step three, read through the license, and if you agree to it, continue. Click here to install this for all users. We don't need the advanced features of the commercial version, so you can uncheck this box to avoid installing a trial of MAMP Pro. Browse to your Applications folder. There will be a new MAMP folder there. Open the folder and double-click on the MAMP icon to launch MAMP. This is a control panel for managing your computer's server software. Before we start the servers, it's a good idea to change one small preference the first time. Click on Preferences and then on Ports. Change the port on Apache from 8888 to 80. To start up your server, now and in the future, click Start Servers. Enter your password. The lights will turn green, and the browser will open a web page that tells you everything is working. You have now turned your computer into a web server that can process PHP code. Pretty cool, huh? We'll need to note two things before we're ready to start working. First, notice the web address. Localhost is a special web address reserved for your computer. I will refer to localhost as the root of your local web server. When I ask you to browse to the root of your local web server, I mean for you to point your browser to localhost. If you see me working at a different address, just remember that your address is localhost. The second thing we need to note is a folder location. The root of a web server references a specific folder on the operating system. Let's find that folder within Finder. Go back to the MAMP folder under Applications. There you will see a folder called htdocs. This is short for Hypertext Documents. Files in there will be available at your local host web address. I recommend adding a link to the sidebar in Finder for this folder. It will make it easier to find what you need when we're working with the project files. I will refer to this as your htdocs directory. When I ask you to open up your htdocs directory, I mean for you to open up this folder. When you first install MAMP, that folder is usually empty. If it's not, go ahead and delete any files in there. The last thing we need to do is create a file in that htdocs directory. Open up your text editor to a new file. Let's type the name of our website here, Shirts for Mike. Now save this file in your htdocs directory. If you added it to the sidebar earlier, you should see it here. Let's call this file test.php and save it. If you are using Sublime Text 2 like I am, I would recommend opening that htdocs directory in the sidebar. You can do that under the Project menu. Select Add Folder to Project and select that htdocs directory. You should now see the folder name in the sidebar as well as our test.php file. Now go back to the browser and visit the root of your web server. Go ahead and remove MAMP from the address bar. You'll see a directory listing with our test.php file in it. Click that link to load test.php, and you'll now see the text you typed. Once you have your web server up and running, you can skip ahead to the next quiz. You'll only have to answer questions pertaining to your operating system. Leave the web browser and text editor open. We'll be coming back to this file next.